no single part that has a stronger effect on the performance of an automatic transmission equipped car than a torque converter. I'm Paul Huizinga for Power TV, and today we're at JBA Performance in San Diego, California, where we're going to be installing a new TCI torque converter on our Project S197 Mustang. Now, when we first got the car, one of the first things we did was put in a new torque converter, a high stall converter to help it get off the line quicker at the drag strip. Now, since then, we've added a lot of parts to the car. It's got a Vortec blower on it, and because we're making so much more torque so much further down in the rev band, we need to switch to a different converter that's optimized for supercharger use. That's exactly what TCI has provided. Let's follow along as we do the installation. Installing our new TCI torque converter in our Vortex Supercharged 2005 and up Mustang starts with removing the torque converter bolts. We then move to the rear of the car and remove the stock drive shaft and BMR drive shaft loop. Unbolting the transmission cross member and then removing the JBA X pipe will give us the access we need to lower the transmission from the body. We removed the transmission and old torque converter together. Once the transmission was on the bench, we removed the older TCI 3500 stall converter. Here's the new TCI torque converter. This is a supercharged version that TCI developed for the higher torque boosted applications with the Ford 5R55S transmission. It still has the same upgrades, such as higher stall stator, needle bearings, and furnace brazed impeller blades as our existing TCI converter did. We filled up our torque converter with ATF and then installed it into the transmission. It goes in just like the old one came out. The rest of the installation process was as smooth as the disassembly. We just raised the transmission back into the Mustang and bolted it up. We reinstalled the drive shaft and exhaust and wiped our hands off. We were ready to go. Well, we finished our new TCI torque converter installation, so now all that's left is to take it to the street, check it out, and then go to the track and get some hard numbers. With a tighter TCI converter, you're expecting a good number and shooting for the 11 second range on drag radial tires. The car hooked hard and went at 11.90 at over 115 miles per hour. In just one day, we pulled out the old TCI converter, installed the new supercharged version, and ran our first 11 second pass. Not bad for this Vortex supercharged Mustang. For more information, visit www.tciauto.com. Thanks for joining us for this segment of Power TV.